Today we're talking about all things Google. There have been a lot of rapid fire changes uh, at Google in the first part of 2021 here. As a matter of fact, we've seen at least five pretty decent sized changes to how the Google search engine results page loads or functionality to Google My Business. Let's talk about what that really should mean to you as a contractor in today's contractor marketing tips and tricks. So again, within the first 45 days of the year here, we've seen a couple of pretty big changes that have rolled out at Google. Let's talk about the ones that may affect you. So changes to Google My Business Messaging. Google My Business Messaging in and of itself is not new. It's been around for about three or four years now. Uh, the main difference now is that originally you could only interact with Google My Business Messaging through SMS or through uh, a now defunct app called Google Allo and ultimately through your Google My Business app on your phone. Now that has changed, now you can actually access your messages directly through the web portal or Google My Business via your regular admin login. So what's different here? Well, if you do have a front office staff and you haven't tried Google My Business messaging before, it takes away some hurdles. It makes it easier for you to implement Google My Business messaging and have different point people have access to that system. So if you haven't tried it already, give it a shot. It's not necessarily gonna make or break you, but it's a, an interesting thing to play with if you've got the opportunity. Secondly on the list, older Google My Business posts in the featured section. So originally, uh, a Google My Business post would show up and be there for seven days after your publication. This excludes offers, which had a, a end coupon offer date, but pretty much for any other post that you would add to your Google My Business, which is essentially a social component to Google My Business, uh, you could add pictures and links to your website or links to other places. That content would sit there in the featured space for seven days and then expire, go away. Uh, now we've seen that older content is still being shown in the featured section. You could see in this screenshot that we grabbed here, uh, we saw content from as old as October 2020 still sitting in the featured section. Normally a post that old would not show up. Instead, there would be uh, some ugly blue text there that says click here to see previous posts. So the big takeaway here is that Google My Posts, Google My Business Posts are still going to be important from a visual point of view. Google wants more people to interact with those posts. And does that mean that you should, you should make that change and make that a priority? The optimization value of Google My Business Posts has changed over time. Uh, originally, when it first came out, it was definitely a strong connection to uh, post activity and increasing your relevance. Whether you believe that's true or not, uh, some people believe it's also important just to have something visually different on your account to make your listing look a little bit different, look, make it look sharper, make your knowledge panel look better. For whatever reason you think, you should probably do some GMB posts whenever possible. Uh, now with it lasting for longer than a week, maybe you don't have to do it every, once every week, maybe once a month just to test it out and see how you like it. It's an easy way to feature projects uh, and any news that your business might have. The next is the About This Result Beta, and you can see from the screenshot here, we found this because we did a Google search and there were three little dots that showed up next to the search uh, URLs. If you click on one of those, this little box pops up and it says About This Result. The three main takeaways from the box is it will, number one, show you how old the, the website is, the, the first time it was indexed by Google. It'll also demonstrate whether or not the site is secure, and it'll also clarify if it's a search result or an ad amongst all the other features. What do you have to do here? Nothing really, as long as your website is already secure, there's not much else you can do here. And truth be told, it's probably not gonna be that effective. Uh, it's not like someone's gonna be clicking all these little tabs to see who is, you know, who has the older website. Uh, but still something to keep an eye on, getting this is in beta, so there may be changes coming to that feature. Years in business on Google My Business. This one's a much more interesting one. This is one that we saw uh, in beta at the end of 2020. And as of the beginning of February, is officially in the documentation for Google My Business. Uh, on your Google My Business, you have the option to add your opening date for your company, for your listing. Uh, if you include that, that now translates into a years in business tab right above your phone number in your GMB listing. Now, why is this important? Well, say, for example, you had three contractors who had approximately the same star rating and review count. The only differentiating factor at that point might be the years in service. 
So number one, if you are a company that's been around for quite a while, it's important that you have your years of service added in that section. Uh, if all of those other factors were the same, a user might default to the company that has more years on the job. If you're a younger company and you're fighting against an older company, then that means you really need to push hard for Google reviews and you really need to blow them out of the water. If you still have the most Google reviews, that's still a, a big factor when it comes to local optimization rank in the map pack, uh, aside from your physical distance from the searcher. So make sure you have those Google reviews so that you can, if you're a younger company, overpower any of those older company results. In the last one stars in the knowledge panel, we did talk about this in a blog post previously. That goes into a little bit more of a deep dive. At the end of the day, it again stresses the importance of reviews on Google. Uh, if you have just one negative review, it might pop up here and that one star rating isn't going to look very good. So you've got to work hard again to drown out any of the negative uh, and reinforce with all positive reviews. It's just another way to uh, make sure that you're keeping your reviews in check and your overall online persona and your brand in check. And that's it for the big changes. Again, those were five big changes that we saw in how Google loads its information in the first 45 days of 2021. If you need some help keeping an eye on the horizon as far as Google changes that may affect your business as a contractor and home services pro, check us out at footbridgemedia.com where you can learn more about our contractor marketing services. You can also get more contractor marketing tips and tricks online. And again, that's all at footbridgemedia.com.